Good morning. My name is Sonia Noor. I am a vascular surgeon. I practice at Buffalo Endovascular Vascular Surgical Associates. And I would like to talk about transcarotid arterial revascularization, which is also known as TCAR, T-C-A-R. We are excited about this procedure because we have been offering it in our practice for about two years now. And it is a minimally invasive carotid surgery. So patients who come in either with symptoms of stroke or TIA or numbness or tingling or speech problems, but mostly they are asymptomatic. They really don't have any problems. We will evaluate them, see if they have a high grade stenosis, either on a Doppler or a CT scan, and then determine if they are a good candidate for this procedure we offer them this minimally invasive procedure, which is potentially not just life-saving, but it can prevent a stroke, which is a horrible, horrible complication a person can have. So recently, I had uh, to take care of a nurse's mom. This nurse is an operating room nurse in one of our neighboring hospitals. And uh, she brought her mom in, we evaluated her, she had a high-grade carotid stenosis. She came in and she had a procedure done. About a few weeks after, her brother uh, decided he should have a screening study because he has a family history of carotid disease. Interestingly, none of us providers really ever got that information for him. So you, your sister had the procedure and then you went to your doctor for a checkup? Yeah, as I happen to tell my doctor that she went, she said, well, when's the last time you had that checked? And I said, you know, I didn't know. So she looked it up and she says, go now. He volunteered, went and got a carotid study. Turned out he had almost a 90% narrowing, asymptomatic, had no idea he had it. And not a man of many words. We brought him in urgently gave him the news, and he agreed to have the procedure. Within a week, we did the procedure. No, she just said when she took the test, it was pretty bad. And I told her I wasn't feeling no side effects from anything. And she said she wants to get in as soon as possible. So it was like two days later, I was in. We okay. did the procedure easily for him. He went home the next day, had no complications. Saw him back in a follow-up appointment, again, a man of very few words. Um, was so happy about his incision because it was about this big, tiny, completely healed. You can barely see it. How has your recovery been since the procedure? No problem. There's... I didn't have any problems with anything. Are you back to normal activity yeah, and stuff like that? back to working. So. I race a race car. Really? Yeah. Have you been doing that since the procedure? Yeah, well. And no problems with that no. in your surgery? My sister who had this procedure done, her son, who my nephew, had a stroke. And he's paralyzed on his left side pretty bad. So. Yeah. So how does it make you feel with the Yeah, pretty, pretty good that I had this thing done. We see him yeah. back in a month, and at the month when we're talking to him again, he's doing very well, uh, completely recovered, excited to go back to race car driving. And I think the big thing is for an older patient in their 70s who's a functioning adult, oftentimes we will take a step back and not offer them a procedure, especially a preventative procedure. And in someone like him who's completely functioning, independent, lives by himself, has a great hobby like race car driving, he should be able to go back and do that. And I really think we prevented a stroke in him. And if we had not caught it, had he not volunteered and caught it, this would have been a very different ending. Don't wait. Don't wait? Yeah. Take a picture of my nephew. His strokes are bad.